Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a whole new Minecraft series on a brand new YouTube channel. I'm Quickstep and this is episode one of Quickstep's Quick Guides, a series where I quickly guide you through the various aspects of Minecraft, teaching you the basics you need in order to play the game. In this episode, I will be focusing on how to survive the first night. So if you're ready, let's begin. The first thing I'll do is the classic tree punch to obtain wood. I'll collect every log so the leaves will despawn. You do not want floating trees but I'll get a minimum of five logs. Then turn those logs into four times as many planks by placing them in the crafting menu like this. Then by placing the planks in a one by two pattern like this, we'll net some sticks. Then a two by two pattern makes a crafting table. In the crafting table, which is a three by three area, placing sticks in the middle like this with three planks along the top forming a T-shape as shown, crafts a wooden pickaxe. Taking either corner block and placing it under the opposite will make a wooden ax. Now to get food. Pigs are a good source of food as every time you kill one you get more pork chops. However, baby animals drop nothing. Don't kill babies. Chickens are another good source of food, but they may also drop feathers, which you can use to craft arrows later on. If you want to start enchanting early, cows are your best choice as they drop not only raw beef, but also leather for crafting books, then bookshelves and the enchanting table. But this early in the game, you want sheep at least three of them. Three sheep will get you three wool, which when combined with three planks will make a bed. If you wool with different colours, you won't get a bed. The solution, grab yourself three flowers of the same colour, open any crafting menu and turn them into dye. Then combine one with each of your wool to get three of the same colour. Now you can take your newly coloured wool and craft a bed. What if you're a veggie or vegan? Or perhaps you don't like the idea of slaughtering innocent animals? Well, you could always eat grass. Sorry, I mean cut grass. Cutting grass has a chance of dropping seeds, which is an easy and early way to get food. So make an upside down L shape in a crafting table with sticks and planks like this to get a wooden hoe. Till grass that's next to water and plant the seeds. Harvest when it looks like this, otherwise you'll only get seeds, but like this you'll get wheat as well. So plant seeds, let them fully grow, harvest them, replant the seeds, then rinse and repeat. Then by taking three wheat and making a line with them in a crafting table, you can make bread. Yummy! However, if you're struggling to find food and or wool, try looking for a village. Villages usually have pending livestock they don't seem to mind you killing. You can often find hay bales lying around, just waiting to be taken. If you place a hay bale in a crafting menu, you can make 9 wheat per bale. And by placing 9 wheat into a crafting table, you can turn it back into a hay bale for storage. You can also find small crop farms like this one in villages, where you can harvest things like wheat, carrots, beetroots or potatoes. If you find a blacksmith, I recommend using your pickaxe to grab a furnace to save on resources later on in the game. Also, be sure to check inside for a chest of loot. You won't always find diamonds, but they usually have some pretty useful items. Might as well take the chest to save on more resources. In fact, might as well loot any other chests I can find in this village. But the main thing I'm after is a bed. And I might take a few torches if I haven't found any coal yet. Regardless of whether I have food and a bed or not, I'll use my wooden axe to chop down every tree I can see until it breaks. Once it does, I'll punch the remainder of the tree. No floating trees. Then, I'll use my fist to dig straight down until I find stone. Or, I'll find a cave like this and just start mining away with my pickaxe until it breaks. I'll mine as much stone as possible and be sure to collect any coal I find along the way. Once it does break, I'll craft a replacement using cobblestone instead of planks to make a stone pickaxe. Then I'll craft some more sticks and combine them with coal to make torches. Then grabbing two sticks and a cobblestone, I'll grab a shovel swap this stick for some cobblestone to make a sword. While I'm at it I'll craft a furnace if I didn't take one from the village and fill it with coal and raw food. 
like it should be getting dark around now, so I'll pick one of three options to do next. Option one, I'll either wait out the night by digging a hole and filling it in to keep myself safe at night, or more likely, I'll build myself a shelter. It won't necessarily be anything fancy, it probably won't look any good, and it definitely won't be made out of anything specific. I'll literally just use whatever materials I have available to me at the time, and that does include workstations. If I do run out, I'll just grab some dirt and fill in all the gaps so I'm safe. Option two, I might just brave the night equipped with my sword and I'll take on any enemies like spiders and uh, um, skeletons. Uh, I'll usually try to avoid creepers to stop that from happening, but zombies aren't too hard to deal with in small numbers. This option does, however, run the risk of that happening. If I happen to have torches though, I'll usually take option three, which is to seal myself in a cave, light it up, and mine as many resources like iron and coal until morning. Without torches, I'll just use the time to smelt ores and cook food instead. But of course, if I got myself a bed by nightfall, I'll just sleep through the night and skip all of the horrors. And when I wake up, I'll be greeted to the lovely sight of burning monsters. And there you have it. That is Quick Steps Quick Guide to Surviving the First Night in Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you very much and goodbye.